and all the small planets that are there were not even known, with the exception of Pluto. I'm really delighted to see so many people who are interested in the ninth planet. You've got this little dinky planet. So this is the entire surface of the planet. There's this angle, the resonant angle, phi 32, which is three times the longitude of Pluto, which is basically the sum of the angles which locate in the low inclination case, how far around the orbit uh, the planet is from a reference point. If you let the planet become more and more oblate, you get central flashes. You know, it's a shame we didn't have IRTF back when the sub-Earth latitude was down here and really covered the entire planet. It turns out that 45 years after Pluto was discovered, we knew very, very little about it. We knew where it was, we knew um, its name, we knew that it had a rotation period of about 6.4 days, and of course we knew that it was a planet. If you do the conversion, uh, you find out that uh, you have about 1.7 uh, of these uh, heliums per second hitting the planet of Pluto. If you look at the long-term insolation on Pluto, including orbital precession, that means going back a million years, there is a different balance uh, on the planet. In just the lifetime of the New Horizons mission, Pluto has gone through enormous evolution in our understanding. From a planet with a single moon to to a much more complicated system. The topography of the planet, the large scale topography of the planet that you infer in your talk is in fact very important for uh, when we discuss atmosphere and the stability of ice in various locations.